You know, ever since we met Kenny the Cactus, I've been thinking about all the ways you can use the word yo. It can really mean a lot of things. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, check it out. What do you think I mean? Yo! Something is really cool? Yes, exactly. Okay, what about this? Yo. Uh, don't do that. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, do it again. Okay, yo. Uh, oh, come on, this one's an easy one. Do it again. Yo. I don't know. <laughs> it meant, yes, there was one Oreo left in the package, but I promise I left some for you. I just twisted it in half so that the cream was divided perfectly 50-50, and I promise that you will totally enjoy half that Oreo with half the cream, just as much as you might enjoy a whole Oreo. If you don't, I promise to get you another Oreo as quickly as humanly possible. See? Easy. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. You know, we've been hanging out in the desert a lot, just like the Israelites wandered in the desert for a long time. It must have been hard for them to believe they were actually getting somewhere. Yeah, it's hard to believe in promises that take a long time to happen. You know who would be great at it? Who? Carrie the Camel. Mm. She's got an A-plus attitude. Yeah, she was cool. Yo. A sad yo, because you miss someone? Bingo. <laughs> you thinking what I am? But if we press play, how do you know we'll find Carrie? We don't, but we promised each other we'd always try. Yo, whoa. You're right. Let's do it. Three, Three two, two, one, press, press play. play. Yo! Oh. Hey, we're back at Cake Boss's Desert Oasis. Yeah, you don't think that Carrie would be here. Oh. Carrie. I... Carrie? Wait a minute. I know. <clears throat> Carrie! Oh, what is that delicious smell of? Oh. oh my goodness! It's my good friends Emma and Jay! Carrie! <laughs> I didn't know you guys knew about Cake Boss's Desert Oasis. It's my favorite spot to come and chill. This cake looks so good. May I? Oh, please. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, we were just talking about you. Yeah, we've been learning about the Israelites wandering through the desert, and we were talking about how hard it would have been to keep a good attitude. I agree. That must have been really hard. Do you guys remember the story I told you about water coming from a rock? <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, in the book of Numbers, chapter 20, that happened again. But this time, Moses made a mistake. God gave Moses specific directions about how to get the rock to gush with water. In Numbers 28, God says, take the staff and you and your brother Aaron gather the assembly together. Speak to that rock before their eyes and it will pour out its water. Oh. But Moses didn't do that. Instead, in verse 11, it says, then Moses raised his arm and struck the rock twice with his staff. Water gushed out, and the community and their livestock drank. Okay, so they still got water. So what's the big deal? Yeah, but Moses didn't do exactly what God said. That wasn't cool. <laughs> so Moses wasn't going to be the one to lead the people of Israel into the land God had promised. Yo. yo! Yo is right. Wait, why are you guys saying yo all of a sudden? Oh, it's from someone else we met. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this isn't a very carry the Camel-like story. Where's the cheer, the joy, yo? Yo. Emma, thank you for thinking of me so joyfully. In fact, I had my main man, Cake Boss, whip up Carrie the Camel's special caramel cheesecake, just in case you all showed up again. Right over there! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Looks like I brought my trusty forks. Thanks! Enjoy! Oh. And as you do, let me tell you the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34. Moses climbed a mountain, and when he was up there, God showed him the place that was promised to the Israelites. 
He got to see it with his own eyes. Then God talked to Moses about a guy named Joshua who would continue to lead the people into the promised land. You see, Moses died soon after this trip to the mountain, and Joshua would need to lead them next. Even though Moses didn't get to experience the place God had provided, he got to see it and remember the special promises God had made. Remembering God's promises can be a powerful thing. So, Emma, that's what all of us can do. We remember the things God says. We can talk about the ways God has provided. We can celebrate what Jesus has done. We can be cheery, carry the camel types, just like me, because we can remember God's promises. Whoa, the big idea alarm. We gotta go, Carrie. Thanks for the cake and the story, and for just being you. Oh, well, my pleasure, Emma and Jay. As always, <clears throat> handshake time. Oh, you know it. Everyone, do the handshake with your neighbor. Whoa! We gotta bring our donuts back? Yo, ho, 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 dota lady, do. That's awesome. I'm saving mine. <laughs> oh, you know donuts can go bad. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, they, I promise, they can. Well, if that's true, then I've eaten a lot of bad donuts. I've eaten a lot of bad donuts. <laughs> we pressed play and ended up back at the Oasis with Carrie the Camel this time. Yo, she was her regular joyful self. She told us all about Numbers 20 and Deuteronomy 34 and how although Moses wasn't the one to take the people into the promised land, he died knowing that they would get there and we can remember God's promises. Jay, you okay? I'm not sure. Great, because it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Oh. I am making a way in the wilderness, in the streams and the wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, 19. I am making a way in the wilderness, and the streams and the wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, 19. Hello. I am making a way in the wilderness, in the streams and the wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, 19. Okay. 